Hello everyone, Daniels here. Hope you're excited about starting this Java EE course. All right, the first thing we want to do is to download the Java Software Development Kit. So let's search for Java JDK. Oops, JDK. Let's do Google search. And here the first link is Oracle's website where you can download the Java development kit and there are two versions there is Java 8 and Java 7 you can download the JDK for either one of them both of them should work I personally would prefer to download Java 7 it's been around longer it's a bit more mature and more stable and companies use Java 7 in their professional applications so I would, in this course, I'm going to use Java 7, but if you use Java 8 and download Java 8, it should work just as well. So feel free to download Java 8 if that's what you would you prefer, but I'm going to personally download Java 7. And here in Java 7, let's accept the license agreement and if you have Windows, most most Windows users would have to download this link, JDK 7U71, this file right here, the bottom file. And if you're a Mac user, then you would want to download this file right here, um, the one that says macOS X64, that one right here. Great, and you just download it, it's very simple. And there is, when you download, there is a nice graphic user interface to install. It's very simple. Just accept all the default options. No need to, you know, to change any of the default settings on the installer. Just go, click next on all the screens, and you'll be, and you and you will have Java JDK successfully installed. So I'm just going to. Uh, at least open the installer. So I'm not going to go through the entire installation process because I already have it on my computer, but I'm just going to open the installer briefly and just show you the various screens. So we just click OK and then oh, actually now it actually started to install. Okay, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to cancel the installation if I can. Yeah. I may not even be able to cancel the installation now. All right, but basically, and it's going to go ahead and install it. So the same for Java and, P and Mac, and the same for a PC and a Mac. There we go, and you have Java installed. So I would say, in my experience, this is a little bit easier than, say, installing some other development kits. In for other programming languages, this is. To, we have a nice installer here, so we don't have to work too hard to install Java, which, which is pretty nice. All right, so thank you for watching this tutorial, and we'll continue, um, we'll continue the installation process in the next tutorial.